have learned that a tumor is more than just a mass of growing cells. It's a well-organized tissue. Within a tumor, we can identify at least two, and I say at least two types of cells. One that we call the CD44 positive cells or cancer stem cells. And the second one is the fast dividing cells or CD44 negative cells who represent in the majority of the cases the bulk of the tumor. When chemotherapy is administrated to this tumor, what we see is that chemotherapy is effective on removing the fast dividing cells or the CD44 positive cells and leave within the tumor a, this population of a slow dividing cells or tumor initiating cells or cancer stem cells who survive the chemotherapy and not only that survive the chemotherapy, they have the capacity to recreate the tumor again. Moreover, the problem is that when these cells that survive chemotherapy recreate the new tumor, the new tumor is resistant to the conventional chemotherapy. Without something that can kill those cells, the patient will succumb to the disease and will die because we cannot control the growth of the tumor. What we have found is that in order to have a successful therapy, we need to design drugs that we target what I call the genitals, the slow dividing cells, the CD4040 cells, that in combination with chemotherapy that kills the soldiers, we will be able to eliminate the whole tumor. That is when TRX1, a new compound that we identified to be affecting of ovarian cancer, is able to eliminate the genitals or the uh, slow dividing cells of cancer stem cells that in combination with the chemotherapy leave us an organism without any residual cancer cells. This is our hope that the combination of this new approach may really give us to the goal of curing ovarian cancer and this disease and cancer, or at least really extending and prolonging the survival of ovarian cancer patients because we are able to prevent recurrence. <music>